David, you've been making uh, a big noise about Weatherby High School. Uh, why is that? I think Weatherby High School is a good school. It's received, as you can see, a, a good Ofsted rating recently. And it's a school with a great ethos as well. It really cares for its kids. It, it, it doesn't exclude kids that they, uh, are, are the, are on a whim. It actually tries to, to develop the children uh, of whatever educational attainment and provide a good education for every child in this area. And yet, you can't disguise any longer that uh, it's having to make do and mend as far as its facilities are concerned and its £10 million rebuild is massively overdue and things have got to change. And do you think that the local councillors have done enough over the years to get that message across to the city council or indeed to government? Well I think if they had we would have seen a better outcome and, and the Conservative Party are obsessed with academisation and uh, yeah, whispers are put around that well if you only became an academy I'm sure somehow we'd be able to find the money to, uh, to give you the facilities you need. If you remain in the state sector, committed to the state sector, then that, that uh, financial supply seems to dry up and uh, that's got to be unfair. Well I can assure you as a governor at a high school within this constituency that's also in the same position where we're not getting the investment that we deserve because we're not an academy and therefore our face doesn't fit in a Conservative-led government. I can assure you, as the new MP for Elmet and Rothwell um, constituency, I would be backing you, hopefully, as the new councillor for Weatherby Ward, in making sure that these schools get their fair share of funding.